Welcome prophetess Brianna. She comes to, amen, encourage us and, amen, give us the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give Jesus another hand clap of praise this morning. Lord, you're worthy to be praised, God. Lord, we thank you. It says in Psalms 42, verses 11, he says, Why art thou so cast down on my soul? Why art thou so disquieted in me? Then he answered himself. He said, Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the health of my countenance. That's what some of us need to do this morning. And you'll get the joy of your salvation back. Like it says in Psalms 51 verses 12. Lord renew unto me the joy of my salvation. But some of us need to learn to lift our hands up. And open up our mouth. And say God I'm going to bless you. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalms 34 verses 1. My Lord. Lord, he says, by him therefore let us offer up a sacrifice of praise unto God continually. That is, with the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto his name. My Lord, it's a sacrifice for me to raise my hand. My God, it's a sacrifice for me when I walk through them doors. Say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The reason I'm able to continue with God is because I learned to sacrifice and say thank you Jesus. He said enter into my gates with thanksgiving. Enter into my courts with praise. Be thankful unto me and bless my holy name. Some of us didn't even enter right. My Lord David said I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. It says the dead don't praise God. Neither they that go down in the silence my Lord, it says in Psalm 63, verses 4, I will bless the Lord while I live. I will lift up my hands. My Lord, that's what some of us need to do. The sign that you're alive is that you can open up your mouth. Let everything that have breath praise she the Lord. My God, come on. We're going to do it. Somebody needs to say, clap you. Somebody needs to say a hallelujah. Somebody needs to say thank you, Jesus. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom the Lord hath delivered out of the hand of the Almighty. Psalms 107 verses 2. He said what? He said let the redeemed the ones that are saved sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost it was noise that he was in the house my God there's got to be something more than just sitting in a pew there's got to be something more than just going through the motions no God put breath in my lungs for me to open up my mouth and say thank you Jesus you didn't have to go to the cross but you did thank you Jesus for waking me up this morning I could have been dead thank you Jesus that I still got health I can still walk I can still talk I can still jump my Lord this morning he said when my enemy is turned back He'll fall and perish at what? Your presence. Psalms 9 verses 3. My Lord, but some of us never get to the point of his presence. Because we're always holding back. We're always holding back. My Lord, some of us sit still. It says the dead. My Lord, the thing that shows that we're alive this morning is that we can open up our mouth. That's how we get our help back. He said, I'll yet praise thee for the health of my countenance. He noticed, David noticed when he started praising God where he wanted to quit. He didn't want to quit no more. When he wanted to shut up, he learned to pat himself on the back. He said, no, I'm going to hope thou in God. I'm going to yet praise him. My God, we need some yet praisers this morning. This is God. I may be like Joshua going around 
around Jericho for six days. But he said on the seventh day, I command you to shout. And it says the walls of Jericho fell down. If we want to see the walls of Jericho fall down in our life, whatever it may be, we got to learn to open up our mouth. Jesus didn't ask him, Sister Janice. He said, I command you to shout. My God, a lot of people want to see the walls of Jericho fall down, but they don't want to shout. They don't want to shout because they say, Preacher, it don't look like it's going to fall down. But it said, He says, The God you continually. My Lord, even God, if I got to walk around it. I'm not going to talk about it. Some of us is talking about it so long. We forgot how to shout to God. Oh, the mountain's done this. The devil's done this. But can I remind you what Jesus did? Over 2,000 years ago, he rose from the dead. So I don't have to live in sin. I don't have to live in doubt. I don't have to shut up. I don't have to be quiet. My Lord, this morning, if you want the help, you got to learn to say, God, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to yet praise you. God, you be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say a yet praise. I ain't seen the breakthrough yet, but I praise him. I hadn't felt the healing in my body yet, but I praise him. I hadn't heard the answer come to my praying yet, but I praise him. Somebody say yet praise. That's what he said in Psalms 42 and 5. Amen. He said, I'll yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Look at somebody beside you this morning and tell him, say, look at me for closely. Tell him, say, you looking at somebody that needs God's help. Now look back at him and tell him, say, if you forgot, you need his help as bad as I do. Somebody shout, we all need his help. Ain't that amazing? Psalms chapter 119, 173 says, Let your hand help me because I've chosen your precepts. I've tro- chosen your commands, your instructions. And ain't that amazing? God's command and instruction is just simply that. Praise me. Praise me. Praise me. And you'll find my help. Revelation 3 and 8 said David had a key. Somebody say David knew how to unlock the door and enter into God's presence. He was a doorkeeper. In the house of God, because he'd said, I'd rather be one of those and dwell in the tents of wickedness. Amen. Psalms 84 and 10. But he knew how to unlock the door and come into God's presence. He would grab his harp. Amen. And he would worship while the sheep was just sitting there watching him. But he didn't let quiet sheep come on somebody, stop him from strum. And then when bears and lions come into the sheepfold, he'd go out there and tear them lions and bears apart. Why? Because he was a worshiper. Come on, somebody. And when God got ready to choose somebody to anoint them and use them, he didn't look at all of Jesse's, uh, amen, children, his sons that were older. He says, no, I'll choose David. I believe one of the reasons he chose David because David was a worshiper. Somebody say David held a key. He knew what the key was. He knew how to get in God's presence. He knew how to walk with God. Somebody say he just opened his mouth and opened his heart and he gave God praise. And that was the one teaching us when he was so cast down, disquieted. Psalms 42 and 5. Disquieted literally means to screech and moan like an old owl in the dark. Somebody say he's moaning and groaning. Somebody say he's hurting. He, he, he is so depressed. Somebody say he is so depressed. But somebody say he took him a praise pill. Hallelujah. He said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't feel like I can get up out of this. He was so worn and torn and tired. But he said this, I'm going to hope in God. Somebody say, hope in God. Hallelujah. In other words, I'm going to trust in God. Despite of what people have despised concerning me and concerning, amen, how low I've been in this low place. He said, I'm still going to put my trust in God. Hallelujah. And when he started talking faith in God, somebody say it produced and generated a praise in him. Somebody say a yet praise. He said, he just it, and I'm telling you what a revelation that was. He said, I'm going to hope in God. Everybody look at your neighbor and say, hope in God. Somebody say, trust in God. 
Hallelujah. Then he said this. He said, I'm going to yet praise him. Amen. Because ain't that what people do that trust him? They praise him. Somebody say you exhibit your trust in God when you praise him. Even when you're down. Even when everything and the odds are against you on every side. He said, yet will I praise him. Somebody say, so that means David didn't feel like praising him. Somebody say his flesh didn't even want to. But somebody say he made himself praise God. And somebody say the health of his countenance went from the word rejoice means to joy in the Lord. When we talk about praise God, somebody say it means the joy in the Lord. Amen. Somebody say joy in the Lord. Somebody say with joy. Draw waters out of the well of salvation. Amen. Isaiah 21 verse 3. Somebody say with joy. Well, joy just means happy. No, no, no. Joy means praise. It means rejoicing. Somebody say with a joyful noise. You ain't even got to be able to sing. Whether you can sing in the shower or take care of tune in a bucket makes no difference. You can make a joyful noise. You ain't got to sing on key. Just make a noise of joy. Well, it may not be joyful to those that's hearing you, but it always is to God. Because he's ordained perfect praise from children that are his. Psalms 8 verses 2. Somebody say perfect praise. It may sound like trash to your neighbor, but the tune will be perfect when it hits God's ears because it's his redeemed and you're singing out of your heart to him. Somebody say everybody can sing when God hears it. Amen. The world may not want to hear it, but we're not singing for them anyhow. We're not shouting for them anyhow. The world didn't give this to us and the world can't take it away. He's the one that gave Somebody say, draw waters. That means draw from God's well of salvation today. Save folks, those that's been born again. Amen. Somebody say, take the bucket of praise, the bucket of joy, and make a withdrawal. Draw from the waters of salvation today. Somebody say, if you'll pour in joy, amen, that's what you're going to draw out. Amen. You'll draw out joy if you'll put in joy. The old timey pumps would pour water in the top of it, and then we'd prime, it's called priming water, and somebody'd pump on that handle, and what you poured in is what you got out. Somebody say what you put in is what you're gonna get back out. You go to the bank, if you ain't put nothing in, you can't make a withdrawal. Somebody say if you'll put in some praise, you'll withdraw his power. If you'll put in some joy, you'll put in an effort of thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Worship you, Jesus. Somebody say the health of your countenance will change. Why? Because God promised it. David understood that. Amen. David says, I don't need no antidepressant. I don't need a doctor, a man with a white coat who can only sign me medication to try to escape the reality of what I'm going through. No, David says, I know how to get through and get out. I'll give him praise. I'll give him worship. Somebody say it's called a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Amen. Isaiah 61 and 3 and somebody say garments amen are put on. So if everybody say if praise is a garment I got to put it on. You got to do it. You got to make it. And if you make it, you'll make it. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Everybody look at somebody and shake their hands and say I'm putting on praise today. Tell them, say, the world accuses us of putting on. Tell them, say, we are, we putting on. But when we put on praise, somebody say, we're taking off depression. We're taking off oppression. We're taking off uh, that old sour look. Uh, amen. Some people's born again in their heart. They know they've been redeemed, but they need us to preach to their face this morning. That's what David was saying. I know in my heart I'm right with God, uh, but I need to remind my face so my face can catch up with my heart. Come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Uh, everybody look at your neighbor and say, give your face a break. Smile. <laughs> Medical science has proven to us many years ago it takes more muscles in the face to frown than it does to smile. If that was the case, we ought to see a lot of muscled faced people in the hour we live. Thank God some muscles don't grow every time they're used. Or some people would walk in and it, you can't you see politicians? All you see was a tongue walking in. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, come on, give him praise one more time. He's worthy today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. See, there's some of you started laughing a little bit then. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, if you can't laugh, just look at me about two seconds. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord.